This is the Mossel Bay Advertiser. With me is Marjorie Dupria and her beautiful dog Polis. Marjorie, tell us how you came to own Polis. Tell us a little bit about your interesting story. Oh, well, um, we believe that his mom escaped from a dog meat farm because mm -hmm. she was found on the street very close to a dog meat farm. Where? Um, in South Korea, mm -hmm. um, more towards the south, more towards Busan. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, and then the, the shelter people picked the mom and the nine puppies up. They put the puppies up for adoption on a web page mm -hmm. and uh, I adopted him. And wow. from there on, I, uh, he lived with me in the apartment. That was quite a challenge because I didn't want him to use pee pads or anything. So mm -hmm. he lived on the 10th floor. Wow. So for the first four to five months, it's up and down and up and down when he wants to go and do his business. And um, he's very, very disciplined. We worked on that mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, I knew we had to travel. Uh -huh. And uh, yes, this is my life. Tell us a little bit about these meat farms. The meat farms, they are trying to stop the meat farms in, in South Korea. Mm -hmm. However, they're not successful at the moment. Um, what happens, the dogs that they like to eat is a Jindo mix. Um, mm -hmm. That's more or less the size of a Golden Retriever. Mm -hmm. They also eat Golden Retrievers. And then they also like Spaniels. Mm -hmm. they, say, they, they say these dogs are quite docile and uh, they have very good meat. And Polis is a cross between a Spaniel and a Beagle. Mm -hmm. Then in South Korea, they also use uh, Beagles for testing. Since South Korea has a very, very um, lucrative skin business going on there so they use the beagles for testing and then there's still a lot of meat restaurants where you pay quite a lot to eat the meat Ooh. they are they either um roast the meat or they use it in soups and stews goodness yes thank you marjorie thank, thank you. you very much <laughs>